today we are going to be breaking down the biggest tips and tricks on how to improve your gameplay so we're going to be covering everything between map awareness how to learn the minimap correctly how to be aggressive and when to be passive how to flank how to hold down positions you know these are very basic fundamentals that can be applied to any call of duty by the way but is also very important in black ops cold war because we do have the minimap that works normally this time versus modern warfare where it didn't it was more of a guessing game but it's a lot easier now in black ops cold war and i'm here to help you out with that today and also if you didn't notice there's a beautiful layout of the map that i'm playing on now which is cartel just to be able to give you guys more of a better visual on how i am navigating throughout the map and why i'm making the decisions that i am making so if at any point in the video you do enjoy it make sure to drop a like on it i'd really appreciate it and subscribe if you are brand new around here for more call of duty content and to help you wake your way back to the channel all right so we're gonna go ahead and rewind here to the beginning of the map because this is a very very important tip sticking to the outskirts of the map if you take a look at the map layout here it allows you to have a much better vantage point of the enemies because the enemies are essentially going to be distracted by your teammates who are getting into a gunfight with them so stick into the outskirts of the map as you can see here i'm pretty much at the very edge and this allows me to reduce the amount of factors that i'm going to get shot at so i can't get shot to my right side i can't get shot behind me so all i have to do is pay attention to what's in front of me and also what's going on to the left and also at the same time remember to look at that mini map notice how i'm always pre-aiming around every corner and checking every line of sight. I'm not rushing around like a madman. I'm playing very slow, methodically. And this is what it takes to be able to win those gunfights because if you run around too sporadically without really having a plan or a direction, then you're most likely gonna get frustrated and die a lot more. So in this situation, I turn around the other way. Now, the reason why I turn around the other way is because my teammates have officially spawn flipped right now. So spawn flipping is bad. So notice how I was headed into this direction and take a look at the map layout right there and look how many teammates i have so the fact that i have a lot of teammates there just shows that the spawns are going to be flipping very soon so that's why i make this decision that okay going into this area is pretty much a waste of my time because there's going to be no enemies there because the spawns have flipped now if you take a look at the media map as well i have two teammates basically bombarding an enemy right now and even if i know there's an enemy right there that doesn't mean to go ahead and rush that opponent because there's just no point my teammates have already killed him and also take a look at the map layout all of my teammates are in this area that means that the spawns have flipped that's why i made the conscious decision to turn around and start heading to the other direction so again i'm still applying those basic fundamentals i'm pre-aiming in areas where i feel like there's enemies going to be that's why i pre-aimed at that window and as i go into this room look how i pulled out my shotgun so by the way this class is perfect for low levels out there if you're struggling to rank up use this m16 it's the overwatch class setup it's a pre-made class setup i did it until i was able to unlock ghost at level 17 and that's something that you need to consider doing if you're having a hard time leveling up because we don't start off with all the perks that we need in the game or all the attachments that we need so it's very useful to use a pre-made class setup and they're there for a reason all right so this area particularly is a power position so this room that I'm in right now is what I consider to be a power position. I'm gatekeeping the enemies from pushing forward by securing the perimeter of their spawn. They're not going to get out of their spawn unless they go through me. That is also something that could be applied to literally anywhere around the map on any map at that. So let's go ahead and continue to gameplay. And as you can see, I'm shooting this guy in the back. He has no idea that I'm actually in here. And that is why I like the element of surprise. You just outsmart your opponents. It's easy kills, guys. So that's why you have to apply these tips to help you improve. So also another thing that I do have to uh, bring to your attention is that notice how I am not pushing deep into their spawn because I don't want to flip the spawns like what happened last time with my teammates. So I'm checking around every line of sight and this is also a good example of what makes a power position a great power position first of all let's break it down i'm in their spawn but i'm not too far in it i'm just from the outside looking in and also there are limited points of entry that's what you want so that's why you only see me going back and forth between one location to another in the same general area so this is what i'm doing i'm just basically a shark in the water waiting for people to pass by and i'm just going to shoot them and it's easy kills all right so as i come around this corner an enemy does see me so 
I make that decision in a snap of a finger to get out of the way. I'm not going to challenge that guy. I want to make this kill as easy for me as possible. And we have that UAV sweep indicating that there are no enemies that are going to appear behind me. And I was able to get him for the easy kill. I'm in a very bad spot right now. So I do not want to get shot in the back just in case that they do spawn around me. So that's why I'm going to try to head back into that power position that I was previously holding. But at the same time, also constantly reading the minimap. That is very important. Remember, read the minimap, get in that mindset, but don't look at it too much, but just take a glance at it momentarily enough to give you enough information to tell you where you need to go. So I know that there's an enemy in front of me, so I'm going to pre-aim. And I'm going to take him out. That is why I love the M16, man. The M16 is very great. It's a powerful weapon, in, in my opinion. All right, so now I'm back to where I started. I'm looking at the minimap. Boom, easy kill. So I'm just going to be doing the same exact thing, taking a look at the minimap because we still have a UAV up. I'm pre-aiming over here. Take this guy out. Now they're, now they're starting to get an idea of where I'm at. So this is at the point where I'm considering moving to a different location. Just because I tell you hold down a power position doesn't mean that you need to stay in that same exact spot all the time. You have to keep the enemies guessing. All right, so... Now, if you take a look at the minimap, a lot of my teammates are here with me and I don't want to compete for kills with them. So that's why I'm going to go ahead and go back and try to flank once again. And anyways, the spawns have flipped. As you can see, the minimap is indicating where all the enemies are at. And I'm pretty much in a good position right now. I'm in the outside looking in right now. And I decided to go for this guy because he's in the middle. And I know for a fact that there's no enemies that would be able to kill me and my teammate just beat me to the kill and that is a prime example of why it's not a good idea to move with your teammates if you're trying to maximize the amount of kills that you get i'm gonna move in the opposite direction again all my teammates are here so that's my indicator that i need to turn around to the other direction and go back the other way hopefully you guys are catching on to this and i know it's gonna take a couple tries or maybe it's gonna take you a whole day if you're brand new to the franchise to understand these uh, fundamental basics uh, but this is what you need to do this is what makes a good player a good player it's just that map awareness and again i pull out the shotgun before i go into that room to be able to get ready for that possible gunfight now i do see a guy right here easily take him out right there uh, that's why the shotgun is great for close range and i'm going to reload my shotgun to make sure i'm ready for the next gunfight and again you see me going for the tag. I move my location. My teammate dies right in front of me. I immediately pull out the M16 just in time to be able to take him out at that specific range because that is where the M16 is going to be better versus using a shotgun. So I'm going to try to weasel my way back in. But again, I'm pre-aiming. I'm not just doing this just to do it. I'm doing it with a purpose. All right, I was able to take out that guy and he had no idea I was there. If you pay attention, most of my kills in this game are from enemies who are just unaware. So uh, this is where things get a little dicey. And I don't know if you guys noticed the minimap, but take a look at the minimap. There's two people right around my area. I'm basically sandwiched at this point, 100%. One of them does not know I'm here, but another one probably does know that I am here. So I'm going to pull out my shotgun. I'm going to try to get ready for this possible gunfight. He comes in and unfortunately he knew exactly where I was. He knew I was in that corner, which was very strange, but you know what? Those things are going to happen. I decided to call in my care package and uh, we do get a nice little UAV out of it, which is very helpful. Of course, we want those. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to just do the same thing. I'm going to call in my UAV here in a little bit to give me more information. And I do notice that my teammates die in front of me and I'm pre-aiming in that direction to get ready. And I call in my UAV for more information. This is why, you know, noticing when you have your kill streaks is very important and when to call them in. And unfortunately, I died. You know, I, I'm, not, I'm not exactly sure how I died there. Uh, because I didn't get to see the kill cam in theater mode. You're not able to see the kill cam. Uh, but here you go. I put down my equipment here. What that does is that it takes down enemy score streaks. So that is very helpful as well. If you're looking to find a way to mitigate the amount of times that you die to enemy score streaks. Now, this is going to be a big mistake that I'm making. And a very good example that you guys need to learn from is me just pushing too far into their spawn and being aggressive. Remember, I am not perfect. I do make mistakes here and there. And I got a little too aggressive. So this enemy killed both. Both of my teammates and i decided to kill this guy so let's go ahead and pause this and break it down here so you get a better visual so uh, what i want you to do is uh pay attention to the minimap all right look at the minimap or the full layout whatever one you prefer so my teammate was just killed over here and you know i felt like i, I could be able to sneak in a kill with this guy so that's why i pursued him but at the same time if you look i'm here all alone this is literally where the enemies are spawning in. I'm out in the open. This is not a great power position. A power position would be in a building somewhere where I can hold them from coming into the map from their spawn. So let's go ahead and play this. 
you know i should have kept my m16 out not use my shotgun because as you can see it took a lot longer to kill the guy and that's why the enemy who was coming in from their spawn was able to kill me so that was a huge mistake that i made right there all right so notice how i pull out my shotgun for this close range engagements but my teammate did kill that guy but i'm still holding my shotgun because i did enter this room and now i switched to the m16 to get ready for those long range gunfights that's what you also have to be aware of is when and where to use your weapons all right so here i get a little aggressive you know i try to steal this kill from my teammate and this is another example of why sticking with your teammates and trying to keep compete for kills just doesn't do you any good that is you know basically proof of why i'd like to flank and stick to the outskirts of the map all right so here i'm going to try to re-establish position i do see on the mini map that there is an enemy so that's why i wrote uh, i retreat really quick so i'm basically baiting him to come to me with my shotgun that's what i did i reeled him in really quick i know he knew i was there so i pulled out my shotgun waited for him to get closer and i was able to get the kill we're looking at the mini map i'm not really seeing any enemies yet because they're probably dying so i'm just kind of like waiting waiting for things to unfold be patient you know don't just rush around and just let things happen let things happen but stay safe while you're doing that so i was able to kill a couple guys here and i'm finding that this area is great for a power position now i could have challenged this guy but he threw a stun at me so i'm retreating you know i'm not trying to force the issue here and <laughs> look at that by me backing into this corner pulling out my shotgun that put me at an advantage to kill this guy all right here's another example right here of using this shotgun in a close range engagement and i'm um, just still pre-aiming around those corners i'm stunned again and here's an another little underrated tip is if you get stunned you can still use your equipment so keep that in mind that's why i was able to throw my stun in there to momentarily uh, paralyze the guy and give me a chance to reset my position to get ready for the next gunfight so i think the gameplay ends right here and unfortunately it doesn't show anything in the theater mode but hopefully you guys did learn a few things here and if you did find this video helpful make sure to drop a like on it and subscribe to make your way back to the channel for more call of duty tips and i will see you guys in the next video have a good one peace if you've never had g fuel before you can always buy a sample pack they're relatively cheap and luckily for you my code turbo is now 30 percent off up until november 16th so if you want to go ahead grab you some g fuel now would be the time to do so